Long ago, two races ruled over Earth, humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later... Mount Ebbet, the year 2010X. Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. That's the opposite of climbing a mountain. Welcome to Undertale. Undertale is a indie RPG that I have heard literally nothing bad about by Toby Fox. Most of, from my understanding, it's really good, the music's really good, the rest of the game's really good. It's got an earthbound like sense of humor. You don't have to kill anybody. And it was made mostly by one person? Dog? Not sure. <clears throat> but I've been told to play it. So I will. And I guess you'll join me. Name the fallen human. Uh, what gender are we? <laughs> that would help. Uh... Can I just... is there a default? No, there's not. Uh... Well, since I don't know what gender I'm supposed to be, I will... type the wrong letter. We'll just pull a fire emblem. That's good enough. And there we are. Hmm. This seems to work much better with the keyboard rather than the gamepad. All right. This looks reasonable. There's a flower. Howdy! I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Alright, alright. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't you? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go! See that heart? That's your soul! The very combination of your being. Cool. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain a lot of levels. Fair enough. What's levels stand for? Why, love, of course. Oh, okay. If I gain a lot of love, my soul will grow stronger. I think the music's a little loud right now. Okay. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Down here, love is shared through... Little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around, get as many as you can. 
I didn't think that. You idiot! In this world, it's kill or be killed. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Die. Well, okay. That was a short game. What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. Alright. The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. And I guess that's the save point. Okay. That's fair. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Alright. Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk, not the middle road. Huh. Okay. To make progress here, you will need to trig trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Press Z to read signs. I, I know. I had to do that in order to read the sign. Stay on the path. And you had to move off of the path to... The first switch is over on the wall. So it is. Please press this switch. Press the switch too. <laughs> Splendid! I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. What happens if I press this one? This switch doesn't even work. Alright. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You'll need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you're in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time, I'll come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Okay. A cotton heart and a button eye. <laughs> Absent mindedly? Does it even have a. I guess the mind is absent. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Ah, very good. You're very good. I guess I could have chosen to fight it, but... This game says you don't have to kill anything. There's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Oh no, a frog.
Life is difficult for this enemy. <laughs> well, okay then. The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. This is the puzzle, but... Here, take my hand for a moment. Uh, the idea is to follow the path that was laid out in the previous room. That's fair. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Okay. Okay. So far so good. Doing fine. No problem here. Greetings, my child. Do not worry, I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there is an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I'll give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? Well, let's see. I was told to remain here. I cannot go behind the pillar myself. Nor investigate it. Well, I'm afraid there's not much to say. I'm just a silly little lady who worries too much. Oh dear. This is getting steadily... odd. I have a stick and a bandage. And no items. Huh? Did you just call me mom? Well, I suppose. Would that make you happy? To call me mother? Well then, call me whatever you like. And there's only this. Huh? Oh, heh. <laughs> How adorable. I could pinch your cheek. You can certainly find better than an old woman like me. Well, alright then. Uh... Given that I doubt anything will happen if I continue to sit here... Ring. Hello? This is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try and solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Well, I guess I could just sit around here for a while, but... How about this frog? Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way, or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please, use some mercy, human. Ribbit. Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. Why are there leaves 
down here? I don't know. Anyway, how about an actual fight? Froggit didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Alright. Now we just have to do a little miniature... Avoiding the bullets thing. Hooray! I have won through pacifism. That looks bad. There are cracks on the ground. I saw that one coming. More frogs, huh? Are you, are you, is each enemy dealt with in the same way each time? Ah. I got hit. Oh, I see. I guess I just have to... Actually, I should just go up here. That wasn't really a puzzle, was it? Hello? This is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Personally, cinnamon, I guess. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. I've heard that I can ruin everything in this game. Perhaps I've already made a poor decision. Hello? You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but... Would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right? Right, right, I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. That was a puzzle. This is not a frog, actually. Okay. I don't need to terrorize it. Aww. Poor Wimson. Hello? You do not have any allergies, do you? Huh? Why am I asking? No reason. No reason at all. Uh, not that I know of. Oh, are we doing this again? Hmm. And this seems to be an indication of how to get across. Please don't step on the leaves. And, uh, some sort of dessert is attacking. Imitate? I feel like I understand the world a little better. Oh my. Well. I just need to do something like this? Didn't you read the sign downstairs? I'm sorry, Leaves. My curiosity was too great. I'm reasonably certain that this will be my downfall in the future. Please do not kill me, Frogman. Am I not going to get experience unless I actually fight something? That seems worrying.
There we go. That's a lot of jello. Perhaps I should not deal with such a large amount of jello. Whoa there, partner! I said you could push me around. Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Hmm? You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? That's not the correct direction, I'm afraid. Hmm? That was the wrong direction? Okay, think I got it. There you go. Thanks. Was that helpful? Thank you, Mr. Rock. And I might as well push these ones as well. Hmm. There's a corgi in the background, but... It's probably fine. So if there's two of them, do I have more to dodge? It seems... sort of? Mr. Rock. Hmm? You want me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. Aren't things easier when you just ask? It seems to be the moral of the story so far. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese, it fills you with determination. I am often filled with determination, it seems. Squeaky mouse noise. This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Oh man, I wanted to give it to the mouse. You can do it, Mr. Mouse. Get the cheese. There seems to be some sort of ghost. Excuse me. Z. Are they gone yet? This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it with force? No. I don't want to do anything with force if I don't have to. Maybe I'll just leave and the ghost will know to leave. This cheese must be a metaphor for life or something. Um, can I get around Mr. Ghost? I cannot. Mr. Ghost, excuse me. Napstablook. Well, I don't really want to use force. This monster doesn't seem to have a sense of humor. Oh, I'm real funny. Oh no. We got some earthbound singing noises in this fight, it seems sounds like. Well, he doesn't have a sense of humor, so... He gave him a patient smile. Hey. Really not feeling up to it right now, sorry. <laughs> Just a little bit better. Maybe some more? Told him a little joke. <laughs> Poor ghosty. Ching seems to have improved his mood again. Perhaps the Luke wants to show you something. Let me try. I call it Dapper Luke. Aw, do you like it? I do like it. It's a nice hat you got there. Eagerly awaits your response. 
Oh, gee. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Aw, oh, that was adorable. This game is already wonderful. You can do it, mouse! One day you'll get that cheese. Is it still stuck to the table? Can I one day resolve this... this problem? That this mouse has? Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down and to the right. Come eat food made by spiders, for spiders, of spiders. I guess that spiders do eat their... something, I don't... Well, alright. Spider bake sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Yeah, sure. Ooh, a donut. What about this one? Oh, I don't have enough money. Spider donut. A donate donut made with spider cider in the batter. That's fair. Donuts are nice. Sigh. My friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. That's right. Pressing X. Well, at least you listen to me. I heard using F4 can make you have a full screen. But what does F4 stand for? Four frogs? I have only seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling, to say the least. I have heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now a monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. What do you think of that? Very helpful. It is rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day, you'll have to do it even if their name isn't yellow. That sounds like a... bit of a... Sounds like a bit of a foreshadowing. Hello? I just realized that it's been a while since I've cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You'll want to re leave room in your pockets for that. Alright. I have an inventory limit of that much. There is just one switch. Is that so? It must be underneath one of these cracked tiles. It would appear to be underneath that one. Oh. What's this? It seems evil, but it's just with the wrong crowd. Slime sounds. Huh? Ow. No, bad. Okay. Just be yourself. Okay. I'll do that. It's just dancing. Alright. That was an experience. I think I saw something. It's the ghost again. I fell down a hole. No, I can't get up. Go on without me. Wait, ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh well. Oh man. Poor ghosty. There is just one switch, but there's a variety of things. Like this evil carrot, perhaps. Hello, Vegetoid. Oh my. 
Serving size one monster, not monitored by the USDA. I don't think I'm supposed to eat this thing. Let's just talk to it. Plants can't talk, dummy. I find this hard to believe. Ow. You... What do you expect of me? Eat your greens. Oh ho, I get it, I see. I wasn't sure what the dinner command entailed. And here we are again. I will gladly get free healing. Now the switch is in here. But there might be more to discover. Robin is a slightly hungry child. Is there anything in the last hole? Hmm, what is this? He found a faded ribbon. Armor, defense 3. If you're cuter, monsters won't hit you as hard. I have reason to believe that this is true. Puzzle help. I don't really need puzzle help, I don't think. Not yet. Hmm. This is an eyeball. Don't pick on him. Please don't pick on me. Is this a trick, or...? <laughs> Finally, someone gets it. I didn't pick on him. It's a switch. Let's not press any switches yet. The far door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation in perspective. That's fair. And accurate, as it seems. If you can read this, press the blue switch. Hey, they're picking on me, but I'm not supposed to pick on them. Oh wait, I accidentally hit pick on. Oh dear. Please forgive me. So I'm supposed to hit the blue switch. Nothing happened. I'll have to be careful about which actions I take in battle. Well, I pressed the blue switch. But... There was no blue switch. In this room, anyway. Uh, 
uh, that thing is Legion, apparently. It's a little worrying. Oh, I get it. That monster is peaceful as long as he's by himself. That was the wrong switch to press. Oh, is it? Oh, it's behind the pillar, of course. Silly me. If you can read this, press the red switch. I'm not staring at you. Yeah. Uh, ow. You're staring at me. Man, these Lukes are kind of hypocrites. Ow, again. I might need to eat a donut. I hope that wasn't a waste of a donut. Press the green switch. And we can just befriend the gelatin and then befriend that guy. Simple. Step on the leaves. That looks, uh, oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Er, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. And we are at home. Do you smell that? Surprise! It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie! I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I'll hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. This is a nice house. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Aww. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. Did you accidentally leave the oven on? Aww. Hello there, little one. The pie is not cooled down yet. Perhaps you should take a nap. Okay. Sweet dreams. A nap sounds good. This room is very orange. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. Wow, rude. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. A box of kids' shoes in a disparity of sizes. Let's face plant on the bed. And there's some pie. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. All HP. That's nice. You have seen this type of plant before, but do not know its name. 
that's accurate. It's Toriel's diary. Let's not read that. <laughs> An encyclopedia of subterranean plants. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods. Known more commonly as water sausages. Alright. Okay, this entire bookshelf is one encyclopedia. That's reasonable. You peek inside. Scandals! It's her sock drawer. That's what I get for examining everything. Ah, the cactus. Truly the most sundere of plants. <laughs> okay. Definitely bigger than a twin-sized pet. The cactus is indeed fairly... Room under renovations. Alright. Do I now know the name of this plant? Oh, it's a water sausage. I have learned something today. And so... Now that we have learned about water sausages, that is, I think, enough for the first adventure in Undertale. Next time, I'm not sure, but we'll find out together. <laughs>